Welcome to podcast 14, uh, 20 minus 6, or 10 plus 4, however you want to look at it, we have got 14 podcasts in, talking absolute shit, and you guys are still listening, you sad bunch of cunts. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, we, we've, had a, we've had a bit of a boost in numbers in the last few podcasts, by the way, lads, it's, uh, it's been quite good. We are reaching. Ah, we are good, reaching good. at the moment. So it only took us 14, 14 episodes. <laughs> 14 episodes, 14 podcasts, and 14 listeners. Well, what, what, well it, was 10 pos, pod, it was about 10 pods ago we did the uh, gap one, and that went through the roof. So I don't yeah, know why we haven't yeah, done yeah. another one since. Yeah, yeah, that's what it. And we just totally ignored it. Like. We just totally ignored the fact <laughs> that we started that podcast like, with a listener count. But, I don't know. Yeah. Why, do you, why did we do Why did that one have so many plays? It, it, it went on loads Wisk. of garage forums, yeah. Wisk mm-hmm. helped us spread the word about yeah, that, well, you know, yeah. some garage forums. But... Um, yeah, I'm surprised the bass dominators mix didn't go down. So a couple of podcasts ago, obviously go and grab that bass dominators mix because it is top. We need to tell everyone if we tell everyone at the beginning this is going to be a garage podcast, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. then all the way through, keep saying, keep listening, keep dig, 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 like later on, like, and then just don't play any garage. Well, we'll I, I usually put listeners. it in the comments. I usually I usually put a bit of a write up about what we talked about and what it is and stuff, but I guess nobody really reads it. We have got a regular listeners, and we do love you all individually. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, um, they start with a, a tune I like, which is uh, Mark Crozer, Live in Fear, and obviously a lot of people know that track as uh, Bray Wyatt's theme music that it comes in for WWE. Been a wrestling for you there. That's <laughs> been a not wrestling. wrestling. That's a wrestling knowledge for you there. Yeah, nice. um, I think the tune's really good, man. It's I've, not I've, real. I've heard... <laughs> what no. do you mean it ain't real? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean it ain't real? What? What is this witchcraft? What do you mean it's not real? <laughs> you mean to say that Ken did not give birth to a hand? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yep, it's not real, it's all acting, we know Thomas, just like yeah. movies that you watch. And, so I always used to say that to you after um, the night after a rave, didn't I? When we used to go to the rainbow. Was it Ollie used to say it as well, didn't he? Your what? mate Ollie. 
it's not, not real. real like. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're all hanging like. Because like, no, really. if like this is just like a, a moment for me that I've just realised <laughs> at the age of like really? in, my 30, in my early thirties. What? Oh. <laughs> like I didn't even know. I like, thanked him that out. Like yeah, <laughs> cheers. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, China died as well. She's dead. <laughs> what's that? China's dead as well. Oh fuck yeah, um, yeah. Obviously, last time we did a podcast, she uh, she died, didn't she? Yeah. Mm. Um, loads of drugs. Yeah. Oh, Apparently. Yeah. A, a, allegedly. So. She's only in her forties as well. Forty-five. She's Forty-five. 45. Yeah. 45. Yeah. She was wicked in WE, like yeah. she, mm. fucking crap porn star though. Never that. I've I've never. Everyone goes on about. It. I've never seen any of. I her. didn't like to get railed. No. Nah. No. Didn't do nothing for Apparently me. Apparently, it was by X Pack as well, wasn't it? There, there was a Which, porn, there was yeah. like a home, you know, this Paris Hilton, yeah, Kim Carden yeah. type home porno's done with X Pack. And then she become a real porn star. And there's this right. one where she's in a ring and all, there's like six porn star stuff as WWE wrestlers, like Hulk Hogan right. and Brown. And they just all fucking rail her like every Gosh. old. <laughs> yeah, I heard an interview with X Pack and it, him and China used to get fucked and not properly yeah, twisted. And, and like X Pack would see aliens and stuff. Did he, he fucking um, ripped his anus? The wrestling match, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, doing that Ooh. when he jumps on him, like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he carried on, carried on as well. What a, what a, hor- a horrific injury. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Going into the hospital with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. crazy yeah. stuff, man. At least he had, like, a good excuse for it. I'm sure there have been people who have gone into yeah. hospitals with similar injuries. He was probably like, I've been wrestling. And he was like, that's not yeah. real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the wrestlers like they're notorious for fucking dying and killing each other and killing yeah, yeah. And stuff. It's there's like there's all the um, fucking shit they do, isn't it? Or or should we say the stuff that they allegedly yeah. do? We or don't, like, don't want to get into trouble. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know Doug, you know Doug Stanhope, the comedian. He yeah, he does yeah. a thing, celebrity death pool. Oh, yeah. And he's always yeah. got wrestlers on it. And she's mm. been on it loads. Oh. China like ready to. Uh, so pop people are like going to win money. Are you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck it out. Ten to one, like oh, get it down on the popular plugs. Yeah, he does a celebrity death pull, doesn't he, on Twitter? Yeah, he's funny, isn't he? He's a good guy. Stan Hope, I do think he is hilarious. Oh, yeah, he's proper funny. So we're well into summer, so I think this podcast, obviously, we all nailed some nice big summer tracks for everyone. As usual, lots of house, lots of drum and bass, lots of everything in between. Maybe a couple of techno bits, Matthew. What do you think, eh? Right? Mm, maybe. Maybe. And have we got any, uh, anything for the Kanye section this uh, show? Uh, yeah, yeah. Can you believe it's, it? Can you believe that? There's, there's always Kanye news about... I need to <laughs> clarify as well, in case anyone out there think, because whenever we do that bit, it's always because I've got like some mad... Twitter, <laughs> some shit that he's been doing on Twitter or online or something. I don't like Kanye West. I don't like his music. I don't like him as a person. I just find him to be one of the most fascinating, egotistical, arrogant, annoying... <laughs> he's, he's, he's human fucking scum, you know. He's, he's a whole person. Yeah, but, all right, Matthew, whatever. <laughs> I, I, I don't like him, I just want to say that. He's, I can, can he's, I wear he's human captivating. Do you not think he maybe does it on purpose for that kind of thing? Maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, We've obviously, even made, yeah. I mean, look at us. We've made a fucking section about him. Well, exactly. The podcast. Yeah, like, yeah. He's winning. Uh, <laughs> he's definitely winning. Oh, I think he's, he's PR people know what they're doing. I think he... He just act, he just act like that whether he was a whether yeah. he was a rapper or not. Yeah, because he's a prick. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> well, we'll leave some of that for later. We have got the Kanye section. Not going to do the segments every show now on the podcast because they're probably taking up a lot of time, and we'd rather talk some shit and just play some. And say I don't always want to play, you know, old scream tracks and old funk gaze tracks. So we don't want it to be like forced either. Yeah, like every time we do it, we've got to be thinking up. You know, what can we do for this? Yeah, this, you know, we're right? basically so, running out of ideas. Oh, this is new. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we definitely have. We've got two left, but I'm not even going to do them. So uh, we'll, if we ever stuck for ideas, podcast, I'll do that it. Were. Fuck them. <laughs> uh, well, they, they were just like the others. Like I said, they're just probably tracks yeah, I don't even yeah. want to fucking play. But yeah. anyway, on with the show. Matthew, what do you got for us? Um, we'll go with, um, it was released on Metalheads uh, a few weeks back. Oh, I uh, think I know this one. The new John B thing. We'll, yeah, man. We'll go with one of the, the B-sides. Back to his roots, isn't it, Mr. Uh, yeah, John B? Yeah. This is um, John B, uh, the... Of Colossus. Don't forget John B. He he did probably one of the first drum and bass tunes I really really liked, what which was, was a Paul Knight on Metalheads. Oh yeah, yeah. And that was actually on Metalheads, and that was this release on Metalheads. I believe, was it? As well. Fucking hell. So that's going way back. But yeah, this is new. This is John B. And this is Colossus. <laughs>
song the X card. Beautiful, love it, mate. Really good job. The real kind of the real blue no mind, goldy string flavours. Kind of, you know, your little brain rolls we used to do in the old days, eh? So brilliant, love it.
Idiot is finest. Yeah, man, it's good, isn't it? Like it. Lovely stuff. On that note, have you got a track for us, Thomas? I got another track. It's by Filth. You remember Filth? Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. P yeah. With the P. P H I L T H. It's called Yeti. It's out on um, Dispatch, Circles EP, and it's a digital bonus once you buy the Circle P. And Filth is one of my favourite producers at the moment, anyway. <laughs> Noises. Let's get excited. Yeah, it's been a right. fucking couple of months now. You haven't yet? No. Yeah. Been there working hard, getting the overtime in, man. Well, Lots of good stuff coming up. It's all about made this year. Yeah. Don't forget July the 30th. Old school selection. Think I'll have one this week. Go for it. Yeah. You're the oldest here. Yeah, why not? Put my foot down. <laughs> Be steady. Steady. What's that hip? Don't want to break it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I was watching Human Traffic the other day, and that tune came on. 
Now, when he's in the record shop. Yeah. 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 Never Believe by uh, Dillinger. So uh, I thought I'd play that this uh, this episode. What do you think? Dark. Yeah. I was in uh, Human Traffic the other week. Oh, right. Okay. Because I've been watching uh, Walking Dead, catching up with it lately, and I never realised that Rick Ross is uh, Felix. Yeah. Who yeah. He, he yeah, always, yeah. He always the complainer on the, on yeah. the sofa in the road. He's sitting there about everything we're back <laughs> in the day and stuff. Yeah. I was watching it, I thought I know him from somewhere. Like, what's he yeah. out of like? And it's he, that. He don't yeah. think better now, though, does he? Nah. Fucking zombies everywhere. Uh. Fucked it now, kid. Also, I was watching good, uh, Howard Mark stuff as well a couple of weeks ago. Everybody's oh, dead, yeah, mate. Yeah. 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 Everybody's yeah. dead. But um, there's that amazing scene, that spliff politics. Spliff politics. Yeah. An interception. <laughs> Dark. <laughs> yeah. I just want to point out something quite random, just how you sit when you're talking on the Very podcast. Mate. Yeah, like a, an old granddad telling somebody off with your hand on your hip, leaning over. Well, I've got, now to, get, then. I've got to get my point across. <laughs> I'm actually waving a finger around as well. So, another one for the Pinterest. I've actually just took a picture of you doing it, so That'd I'll put it, put it on the Pinterest, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is Dillinger. Fuck you all. <laughs> Dillinger, never believe. Never believe.
Oh, I used to buzz off that tune in the film. I didn't even know it was drum and bass. Like, no, it is good, just... yeah. Well, back in the day in Tom Toms, that's when it was all about them. <laughs> right, should we go into a tune? Yeah, I've got a tune. Oh, I've also got a got? subject. It's a new track from a twisted individual. It's called Requiem for a Wet Dream. Because a twisted individual has uploaded his whole back catalogue of all of his tunes onto SoundCloud. So if you actually go onto SoundCloud now, He's got all of his tracks up there, yeah, right, so you can right. even there's loads of freebies on there, and you can download them for free. But I just think Twisted Individual has the best names for tracks. Like I just reel some names of his you tracks. Just kill off. it with the names, like mm. this name, Protocols of the Elders of Croydon. All cows are beefy. <laughs> Swamp Lake, uh, Flem Trail, Gusset Gravy. <laughs> I remember that man. Yeah, yeah. Fallopian Tune. What, no, fallop- what were that? Poo, uh, name one. Bandwagon poos. Bandwagon poos. That's yeah. it. That's you got um, jelly on a plate. Uh, bollocks yogurt. Did, didn't um, didn't twisted individual have like a big beef with John B and he, he just came out he's like really homophobic and stuff. John B, um, I, I think he's if I've got this the right way acid around, beef, weren't it? John B made the tune Bandwagon Blues. That's it, yeah. And then Twisted Individual jumped made on the like bandwagon. A piss take of it called Bandwagon Poos, where he always looks slaughtering John B in the tune. Yeah. It yeah. Was, there was somebody, um, I think it was I ranking on, on his podcast, who was talking about Twisted Individual and all this, but there was more to it than that as well. It happened ah, a few right, years right. later. And uh, he, he's like, he named that this kind of jump up is called Homophobic Step. That's what he <laughs> called it. That's what he called it. Because he don't like the gays, he don't like the queers. Don't like the one who put the cock up the bum. I'm just trying to play the track now.
man. So all his tracks are for free at the minute, yeah? Yeah, he's uploaded his whole back catalogue. They're, they're not all for free, but all of his tunes that he's ever made are up there. And if you go through them, there's a lot of them up there for free. Yeah. Obviously, the new stuff's not for free, but... No, man. I'm just glad to see him back and make your music, man, because I... My vinyl yeah. collection is just littered with That's twisted it. individual. Like. It's all about drum and bass and bashing queers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a disclaimer, we love the gays. Yeah, we absolutely do. love them. Oh, Lee really loves the gays. We do. <laughs> I mean, he never should up about it. <laughs> He's like uh, 10 wolves. Ten, what? <laughs> ten, DJ ten walls. Ten walls. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Remember what did he describe? Gay people like well, we paedophiles. Them, we call them fucking animals or something. Walking yeah, with yeah. homophobes. <laughs> <laughs> Walking with elephants. Even twisted individuals should go back to back, shouldn't yeah, they? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like a homophobic uh, all night set or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just house into drum and bass into bashing gays. It could be a wicked little. Uh, I've got, I've got something going for them there. I think they should just use that idea. Crowd full of just like fucking ultra right wing dickheads. <laughs> yeah, just full of skinheads. Like, yeah, <laughs> listening to like fucking loads like bandwagon poos mixed into walking with elephants and just all the skinheads going mad to it like on yeah, the dance with, floor. With Brian Bedondi on vocals. <laughs> and, the, and the MC that jumps on your set at fucking Spotlight. <laughs> what a combo, man. I'd buy it. I'd buy a ticket. I'd definitely buy a ticket. Not that I'm a homophobe. Definitely not a homophobe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cutting that out. Honestly, I can't even be dealing with that. Oh, dear. When the MCs came, tell it about the name. Man, to perform. I'm on the mic and premieres on the breaks. Who am I? The MC. La dot. <laughs> MC section. Can I do one this side? Uh, no. Please. No. I've been wanting to play this one for ages. <laughs> Pretty please. Um, <laughs> go on. Let him come. Uh, go on then. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. But both the, uh, the little intro we've got. Have the, you know... Sorry, I was going to say, just no hardcore MCs, please. No, no MCs. I'm called Matthew. You know I, the little I intro. I anything. Right? <laughs> I mean, Where's kids all right? I've got to give up now. Wow. You know the you know the intro to the MC section we've got um, little track in there I put in there because it's probably one of my f- most favourite hip hop tunes ever. Hmm. It is an old day, but it's a good day. Uh, this is uh, Jizza from Wu Tang Clan. Jizza. <laughs> <laughs> more fucking hell, you two! Jesus Christ, stop it, man! <laughs> the last two podcasts have just been porn references uh. galore, aren't they? This is Jizza, <laughs> <laughs> and the track's called Liquid Swords. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. Fucking Why hell. wouldn't it be? <laughs> oh God, Illaman and Jizza. <laughs> Last two podcasts. What we need to stop with these porn and like, hip hop yeah. superstars tracks. What was the other one? Bam Bam by Illaman. No, what, it is, what were they doing? You were laughing at the one hour Illaman gang bang or something. That's uh-huh. it. One hour gang bang. And this one we've got Jizza p- <laughs> shooting his. <laughs> Jizza Jizza pulling out his liquid sword. You just didn't even listen. Like, yeah, that's it. (laughs) That's the one. (laughs) Anyway, let's play the track, man. It's going out of hand. (laughs) When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. And he was the shogun's decapitator. He cut off the heads of 131 lords. It was a bad time for the Empire. The Shogun just stayed inside his castle and he never came out. People said his brain was infected by devils. My father would come home. He would forget about the killings. He wasn't scared of the Shogun, but the Shogun was scared of him. Maybe that was the problem. Then, one night, the Shogun sent his ninja spies to our house. They were supposed to kill my father, but they didn't. That was the night everything changed. Sometimes you gotta fast and fast. You niggas don't know where this shit started. Y'all know where it came from. 
what I'm saying? We're gonna take y'all back to the source, the knowledge. Yo. When the MCs came, tell them about the names and to perform some bad to smoke cocaine, to act the same. Put the four feet rocking on, now on with the mental plane, to spark the brain, with the building to be born. Yo, friends, I put the track, with the what you got. Sick of it, put the pet, the pet, the pet, niggas get blessed in my fights. I swing swords and cut clowns. Shit is too swift to bite, you be caught and write it down. I flow like the blood on a murder scene. On some wild out shit to insert a fame But it was your walk the shop Stolen art, catch a swollen heart from not rolling smart I put that pressure on pony whack rhymes to get hurt Sits plate like zodiac signs and sweatshirts That's minimum and feminine like sandals My minimum table stacks the first on the gamble Energy gets felt once the cards are dealt With the impact of roundhouse kicks from black belts that attack Them white bones like cyclones or typhoons I represent from midnight to high noon I don't waste ink, nigga I think I drop megaton bombs more fast than in your blink Cause rhyme thoughts travel at a tremendous speed Through clouds of smoke, of natural blends of weed Only under one circumstance as if I'm blunted Turn that shit up, my clan in the front wanted That when the MCs came to live out the name And to to perform, something had to snort cocaine To the act the same, for he rocked it on that on with the mental plane Just to spark the brain With the building to be born Yo, the rinse up with the track With the what? I'm on a mission that niggas say is impossible But when I swing my swords, they all choppable I be the body dropper, the heartbeat stopper Child educator plus head amputator Cause nigga styles are old like Mark 5 sneakers Lyrics are weak like clock radio speakers Don't even stop at my station and attack While you're playing bell with the rep like Amtrak What the fuck for? Damn, my lord, make law I be justice, I sentence that ass to the four Ram the clock, that state pen time, check it but the pens, I'll be sticking with you, can't stick the crime, came through with the wool, slid off on the DL. I'm low key like seashells, I rock these bells. Now come aboard, it's my thing to bound into the chamber. And it's a whole different sound, it's a wide entrance. Small exit like a funnel, so deep it's picked up on radios and tunnels. Niggas are fascinated how the shit you get. Get vaccinated, my logo is branded in your skin. When the MCs came, they live out the name to your end. To perform some had to snort cocaine to the act the same before he rocked it on. Now on with the mental plane, just to spark the brain with the building to be born. Yo, rinse up the track, what the fuck is it the flowing with the act? Probably one of the greatest hip hop albums ever, ever, ever made. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Loving it. On with the show, let's uh, let's move swiftly on. So again, an insane, insane amount of albums that I've come across and uh, yeah, there's a Come lot Come across. There, man. Keeping up. <laughs> <laughs> Just keeping up with the innuendos. I thought we'd uh, manage to get by that, but no. Yeah, so uh, splurge money out on these babies. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, the next hat trick selection is Lime Wax's new album. Obviously, uh, been a while since we heard anything brand new from Lime Wax. The uh, Prince of Darkness, as they call him. Ooh. Ooh. So this is on Prospect Records. It's out now. Uh, here's his three in a row.
bit too heavy for you. It was heavy, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, man. Getting out the pots and pans. Yeah, man. Throwing down the stairs in a <laughs> pillowcase. Oh, there you go. You've got a rave. <laughs> some smashers there, man. Absolutely. <clears throat> Yeah, good stuff, man. I'm loving the lime wax stuff. Like, it's uh, it's been a while since he put out anything of that calibre. So uh, nice to see him back on it, getting getting uh, getting in there. When's that, mate? It's out now. It's out now. Yeah, yeah. It came out on the 22nd of April. So. Hooray! Hurrah! Yeah, good stuff, man. Um, Bank camp and all the usual outlets. I'm guessing so that's where you usually get the prospect stuff. So, do you, do you know any good impressions? Impressions? Yeah. Can you do any impressions? Uh, the only impression that I can do really, really well yeah. um, is, uh, you know, the <laughs> former leader of the SDP in... Uh, Sc- in <laughs> what the, the fuck? No. The, uh, not, not the SDP, the SNP in no. Scotland. Uh, uh, what was he called? I don't know. I it's- do it, like, <laughs> during, during this, Scott, you don't have to put this in, bro. This is <laughs> shit, oh, man. But, uh, you can do an impression of just some random, a random politician. politician. Uh, Nobody's Alex, gonna know who that is anyway. Alex so you Salmon. could do anything. You yeah. could just go, uh, I'm no, a politician. Do you remember? Know, know, and it, and it was all about whether Scotland could could yeah, keep the pound yeah, or not. Do, and he mean. used to say all the time, "Go on then, it's our pound, and we're keeping it." <laughs> <laughs> You go. That's, the thing is, the yeah. thing is, though, to most people out there listening yeah, to this, just you could have gone. Oh, I've got an, I've got an impression of this, this politician. You could go, go on, then you could. I'm a politician, uh, yeah. and just, you wouldn't even, wouldn't even generic have Scottish the safe. politician. <laughs> it's our opponent, and we're keeping it. I used to like. <laughs> In Matt's defence, that is pretty good. <laughs> See, Tom knows who it is. What's his name? Let's look him up. Alex Salmond. Alex. Oh yeah, but we're. <laughs> Type in that bit. It's our pound, and we're keeping it. <laughs> You're gonna compare it. You've got to, it's, the, it's the one prize that he said. I can't do anything else that he it's says. Our so. pound. Just that. Type in it's our pound. No. <laughs> so let's let's listen to your impression and then listen to how he talks. Well, it matters because the officially designated group are the ones. Do your impression, Matt. It's our pound, and we're keeping it. <laughs> <laughs> And here is the uh, the man himself, Alex Salmon. Binds with these three groups. It's like the life of Brian. It's just generic <laughs> Scottish voice. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> you may as well just say. So I you can, can do, do accents. Yeah, I can do it. I can do a Scottish accent. <laughs> <laughs> but I can only say this one phrase that Alex um, Salomon says. At least you got the phrase pound. down, though. <laughs> do it again. It's our pound, and we're keeping it. <laughs> Have you got any impressions, Tom? Um, not as good as not as good as, as, good as, as that, that one. <laughs> <laughs> not as good as that blinder. No, I ain't got. I don't do impressions. I remember I I used to I used to think I could do impressions of LL Cool J. Yeah. It was like, uh, oh, want to rub chocolate milk all down my genitals? Oh. <laughs> I could probably do bass, man. Uh, what well, so you do? It's a heavy, heavy, heavy. That's good. So that, I, I got my LL Cool J impression from. Uh, a guy called Aerie Spears. Have you ever mm. heard of him? No, no. You never heard of Aerie Spears? Well, basically, he's one of the one of the best impressionists ever. He does like the Arnie ones and that. Like, ah, ah, yeah, ah, yeah. He does like De Niro and everybody and LL Cool J and stuff. But yeah, check him out. You, sir, are a bad guy. I am the police. It's my job to stop guys like you. Murderers, rapists, killers. It's what I do. There may come a time when I pass cross. I'm gonna have to take you down. I won't like it, but I'll do it. Keeps me hot on my toes where I gotta be. <laughs> De Niro comes back. You know, there's a flip side to that coin. <laughs> a friend of mine, Jimmy, once told me, never get attached to anything that you cannot walk out on in 15 seconds flat if you spot the heat coming around the corner. And I also like guys like you that like guys like me because you keep me hot on my toes where I gotta be. He sounds just like him, doesn't he? Like Al Pacino. Mm-hmm. Come from that, he does uh, like this. Was that Al Pacino? Yeah, he was doing uh, Al Pacino and Robert De Niro in Heat. I don't know, I reckon Matt's was better. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a flip side that he call. can't do an Alex no. Salmon. <laughs> yeah, you do Robert De Niro in The Sound of a Scottish Voice. <laughs> nah, no. uh, I'm not even going to try. This is the master. Of- and you're right, our pets, they make cross. I'm going to have to take you down. I won't like it, but I will not. No, 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 no. Hesitate. Great scene. These are the best ones when he does. He does Al Pacino and De Niro in Heat, but he does them as Schwarzenegger and Stallone. Picture the same scene with Stallone and Schwarzenegger. You ain't gonna be able to understand shit. 
Stallone is doing Pacino. You know, there's a flip side to the crime. I might have to take it down. I won't like it without doing it. What was the impression hey, you were just talking about? Type this one in, type doing Jason Statham to Jason Statham. <laughs> hey, I, I swear to God, this impression, basically a comedian, they're interviewing Jason Statham and he does a Jason Statham impression to him while he's sat there in the oh. studio. And it is amazing. Like oh, that was on Opie Radio, wasn't it? Yeah. So it was um, Godfrey, weren't it? That comedian Godfrey who did it. What's this, man? There's this comedian Godfrey oh. talking to Jason Statham, and he does Jason Statham to Jason yeah. Statham. I'm a big fan, big fan of your shit. Yeah. And because I'm, I'm a martial arts... Do, well, do you do a Jason Statham? I do, man. <laughs> do you I, really? I go, yeah. I don't want to I, I go, I, I want just... Jason Statham to be... I want you to do a movie. Because I said sometimes when I'm watching a Jason Statham movie... I can't hear his voice. It's so fucking low, yeah. you know? And so I said, I think you should make a sh uh, movie called The Librarian. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then Jason Statham comes up and goes, I told you guys to be quiet. I turned it up a bit. I couldn't hear that then, sorry. He was right. He was quiet. He's really good, man. And so I said, I think you should make a sh uh, movie called The Librarian. <laughs> you know <laughs> and then Jason Statham comes up and goes I told you guys to be quiet <laughs> <laughs> and you're still fucking talking <laughs> that all right? that's a fucking Maybe. brilliant one there's been some good people that do with the impressions on uh, Open Jimmy you know oh. Dan Soda the oh, comedian I love, Dan Soda I love Dan Soda he was, so on, he was on the um, you know Opie and Anthony obviously Opie Radio but he went on uh, Anthony Cummier's show not long ago. And um, they were doing, uh, he, was, he was talking about Macho Man, you know, the wrestler who died, another dead one for yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, he joined ISIS, basically. So there's this it? Macho Man impression of uh, Macho Man joining ISIS. No, he didn't really. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, ISIS uh, kind of threatened uh, New York, but they do, they, that's like. What a hacky terrorist thing to do. That's, like if, that's, if, a, that's a women be shopping of terrorist threats? Yeah, that's a fucking airplane peanuts <laughs> of terror. Oh, New York, look out. We're coming for you. We're coming for you, New York. Listen here, brother. Yeah. And we are, what are you going to do when ISIS <laughs> rains down on... <laughs> yeah, and the streets will flow. Yeah. Uh -huh. Huh? His voice is <laughs> fucking mad. It sounds just like Macho Man, doesn't it? Uh huh, yeah. Talking about with blood of the infidel. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh, yeah. Oh, been to the top. Yeah, met a lot. Yeah, been back down. Uh huh. <laughs> All the uh, Akbar. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna be raining down on it with swords of justice, uh huh. <laughs> Letting the Jew pig run your country, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't gonna happen no more, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> ISIS macho man. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking brilliant. But he was he was on Opie as well again about a week ago, and um, oh, what was he was talking about? Um, Macho man, Randy Savage. Randy Savage is doing the impression of him again on the show, but I'll uh, I'll play it through and I'll have to explain it after because I can't remember what they were talking about. But it's this a, a... They're talking about um, child molesting. Yeah, they're talking about <laughs> child molesting, and he does it in a macho man voice, talking about it's all right to molest children while eating steak. Oh yeah, he's, eat, he's eating steak. That's why <laughs> they've got him, a... they've got him a piece of steak, and then this is Dan Soda on Opie Radio uh, with Jim Norton and. Uh, Pete Richardson off uh, Saturday Night Live. Yeah, the, the, I didn't know he was. A, what was his name? Was something Savage? Ron Ronald. Savage. Ron Ronald Ronald Savage. Randy Savage. And, <laughs> and uh, he's very believable when you watch him. I mean, Ooh, you better watch out. I'm gonna molest you. <laughs> Africa Bambada. You know, yeah, excitement. The Zulu Nation touching my wiener when I'm a little boy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> really got into it. Started thrusting into his hand. Yeah. <laughs> Came all over the place, yeah. Zulu Nation, you were there, you were watching, uh huh. 
<laughs> By the way, this meat cooked is delicious. Damn By the way, Randy Savage. him, yeah, Macho Man savage. Randy Savage, eating a steak, describing a rape, is maybe <laughs> the funniest yeah. thing. Yeah, it's man on boy. Yeah. <laughs> Very disturbing. Oh, I love, love my steak cooked medium rare. I have nothing I like more than having a nice piece of cooked meat talking about man boy love. Yeah, it's the most purest of love. <laughs> I'm talking about a very Spartan sexual relationship, yeah. <laughs> An older man caring for a younger boy. Very big in Greek mythology, yeah. <laughs> they would fuck him so he'd be comfortable going to war. They called it the sacred battalion. Yeah, they would form a phalanx, yeah. Like the little boys in the front and the men in the back, yeah. Yeah. His voice is just like Macho Man, doesn't it? (laughs) Those kinky boots, kinky boots. Kinky boots, it's a man that you borrowed from the roots. Borrowed from the kinky boots. Another bootleg kid? Yeah. um, What we got this month? Well, um, I'll be looking through my hard drive at all the music and that for bootlegs and this was a bootleg we used to listen to in the summer in about 2008 Snow Patrol so Marky and Bungle bootleg I used to have a a really hard drum and bass kind of line wax style drum and bass track yeah. by a high ranking who did mix of this I'll have to find that out for a future podcast I don't know where I got this track from. I think I got this from my uh, exes Open but Your I, Eyes is a bass track yeah, as well yeah, by Snow Patrol I mean this tune I've never heard this tune out Brave ever. No? No. It's a really good summer tune. I can see it going off. Marky and Bungle mixing <laughs> tunes. <laughs> Drop <in> your head. <laughs>
strange and untrue And I won't waste a minute without you My bones ache, my skin feels cold And I'm getting so tired and so old you feel everything's gonna be all right yeah, it does, yeah. <laughs> end of podcast 14 i didn't know what to say man <laughs> rejoice just rejoice tom <laughs> but yeah we got through that unscathed yet again some great tunes and we're going to finish off with a really good mix Who's it by this, this well, time? What I thought I was going to do is basically I thought I would do the mix for this one. Yeah. And I would do the most controversial mix ever mixed on the planet. The most controversial offensive mix ever. Rest. Well, basically. <laughs> racism. Uh, the Just Lauren mix. Hill too. <laughs> Just like, like, yeah. Close, close. <laughs> basically, I've, I've uh, selected uh, numerous uh, tracks in the music industry that were actually played were made by people who have recently and in the last few years been convicted of paedophilia or uh, beating people up and <laughs> just stuff like that. so it's got every now basically I've done the mix not for this podcast as you imagine some, <laughs> some kind of weird Chris Brown bash Ralph Harris <laughs> yeah. mega mix yeah. so well, I had a thought to, I'm, I'm not really bit of glitter it. thrown in there I've not, not really done that kangaroo dance, but... <laughs> so basically the mix I like was thinking of I've actually started how putting did you together think a of that of, well, just start putting a track listing together for it, the most what controversial track? mix. What was it for? Under 10, 10's <laughs> birthday party, Dodge. I doubt you'd play this at Under 10's birthday. But yeah, he's, he's got everything from uh, Lauren Hill, the racist, to Rolf Harris, uh, the child buggerer, Gary Glitter, the kiddie fiddler, uh, R. Kelly pissing on kids. Um, uh, yeah. He's got yeah. everybody Michael on there, Michael Jackson. Man. I swear she told Michael me she Jackson. was older than 15. <laughs> So, yeah, it's got everything in there, man. It's a, It will be a good mix when it's done anyway, but it's not on this podcast, so. Right. <laughs> but anyway, the mix that's, that that's I have got. to look forward to. <laughs> there you go, kids. It'll be up on the SoundCloud. So, basically, the mix that we have got planned for episode 14 is one of Birmingham's finest. Uh, you've probably seen him play at Breakthroughs in the past and more recently at nights like Circles at the Hare and Hounds. Um, I love your sets, man. Proper good, nice, groovy stuff. It's uh, DJ Reaction. So check this out, Birmingham's Finest. A Rick Reaction. Yeah, Rick Reaction, yes. man. So, uh, yeah, we've got a mix off him. Um, great stuff, some fantastic bass in this. If you ever see a Circles Flyer, mark the date in your calendar when you find it because they are Circle some seriously it. good, seriously good events. Circle it. Oh, I like it. That's the next one they got uh, gold, isn't they? Yeah, Goldie's, Goldie's coming up, man. Goldie start putting MBE after his name down. Nice, oh, wouldn't you if you were fucking? You know what I mean? <laughs> well, one day. Yeah, man. Dirt by MBE. <laughs> so here we go, DJ reaction. Maybe after the Queen is your um, paedophile mix, we'll all get yeah. MBEs. Yeah, so love it. Yeah, Matthew. Probably, Matthew <laughs> yeah. Williams, PD fee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the foot of all these Dodge jokes this time, man. I'll yeah. just start typing Matt Williams then. <laughs>
Yeah. You are listening to Dirtbox and Friends. Hello, friends. <laughs> 